Listen, bro, I've told you before, nutrition timing is a real thing. If we eat at eight o'clock, that means that we will build muscle, we will increase our vertical, we will get bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. If we eat at 7.59, it'll go straight to our love handles. Don't you understand? Okay, good, so you're with me. But let's go ahead and get your post-workout meal ready so that we can eat it at exactly eight o'clock. Okay, we got 30 seconds left. Bro, what are you doing? You're gonna get love handles. Ah, whatever, he's balking. We got 10 seconds left, so get ready. All right, you ready, boy? Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Yes, that is gains right there. Young visionary, and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't take that leap, how you know that you can't fly? So I'm just Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, make sure that you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the bell so that you never miss another video. And comment, jump down below in the comment section if you want a free body weight vertical jump training program. Tag three friends on my Instagram if you want a free weight training vertical jump program, which also has in it a full shopping list for athletes with all of the foods that you should be eating to optimize your performance as an athlete. So go and get that and that will literally, you won't even have to watch this video. But anyways, we have a question from Zane Bajwani, who says, what food should I be eating as a 14 year old to help increase my vertical? Could you please make a video on a food schedule like this one? So he's posting this comment on my video where I posted a vertical jump schedule. So now we're gonna post a food schedule for athletes that I think a lot of you can get a lot of benefit from. So. This schedule isn't going to be a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday type of schedule. This is going to be a daily schedule. So I have 7 a.m. all the way to 10 p.m. And that doesn't mean that you wake up at 7 and go to bed at 10. But the same principles are going to apply for whatever time you wake up and go to sleep. So you should be eating the same way every single day. That's why it's not a Monday through Sunday schedule. And there is a number one rule that I want you to follow. If you follow this number one rule, you'll be able to optimize your nutrition as an athlete so that you can optimize your performance on the court, field, track, swimming pool, whatever. Okay, so here's the number one rule. In every single meal, you want complex carbohydrates, you want a lean source of quality protein, you want healthy unsaturated fats, you want fruits, and you want vegetables. If you hit those five categories, you will optimize your nutrition as an athlete. Now, you don't need fruits in every single meal, but it's more vitamins, minerals, antioxidants for your body. So think about yourself really quickly, and then I'll get into the schedule. When is the last time that you ate complex carbohydrates, healthy complex carbohydrates like rolled oats, not the instant oatmeal packets, whole grain rolled oats. When's the last time that you ate brown rice? When's the last time that you ate white rice or wild rice or black rice? When's the last time that you ate quinoa? When's the last time that you ate whole grain pasta? When's the last time you ate whole grain bread? For proteins, when's the last time that you ate chicken or steak or salmon or tilapia or eggs? Some of you might be like, this morning, that's really good. Some of you might be like, oh, not for a while. I've been eating Cheetos my whole life. So think about fats. This is where people go wrong. When is the last time that you ate healthy, unsaturated fats? Like nuts, peanuts, walnuts, almonds, peanut butter, almond butter, walnut butter. Peanut butter is the savior for a lot of athletes. If they didn't eat peanut butter and jellies or any or peanut butter in general, they would not get their healthy unsaturated fats. When's the last time you ate avocados or salmon with omega-3s in it? These are all healthy fats that you should be consuming. If you're not consuming any of those foods or healthy oils, then you're not getting your healthy fats and your performance is gonna be that much lower. When's the last time that you ate vegetables? When's the last time that you ate fruits, okay? So just think about yourself, when is the last time that you have eaten the foods in these categories? And that will tell you whether you are optimizing your nutrition as an athlete. Anyways, let's get into the schedule. So the first thing that I want you to do is define what time of day you work out. I'm not talking about basketball, not ball handling, not shooting, not going for a run. I'm talking about your weight training workout or your body weight workout, where you are actually building muscle. Because we want to pinpoint the time of day that we are working out so that we can optimize our nutrition before and after that workout, and then everything else will fill itself in. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to say that we work out at 12 o'clock, okay? 12 o'clock, we'll hit a workout. 
okay? Now, if you work out at a different time of day, just apply these same principles to the time of day that you work out, okay? So 12 o'clock is our workout. Three hours before our workout, we want a main meal. So one, two, three, this is a main meal, okay? We can call that breakfast, okay? So that's our main meal. And in our main meal, we want carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, lean source of quality protein, healthy unsaturated fats, fruits, and vegetables. So this could be oatmeal for our complex carbohydrates, eggs for our protein. We'll put peanut butter in our oatmeal for our healthy unsaturated fats. Then we'll put a banana in our peanut butter and oatmeal to make it fire, and that will be our fruits. And then we'll put spinach with our eggs, and that would be our vegetables. And those would hit the five categories, and that's essentially the breakfast that I have every single morning. But that hits the five categories to optimize your performance as an athlete. So you want that meal three hours before your workout. And listen, if you work out at seven, one, two, three hours before your workout, just have a meal with those five categories at four o'clock. So you can literally take these principles and move it to whatever time of day that you work out. So then after that, we want our pre-workout meal, okay? Your pre-workout meal should be, it should hit those five categories, but it should be a little bit smaller because you don't wanna be super full when you go to work out. So something that I love to do is a bagel with peanut butter and banana, simple, okay? so that you want that an hour and a half before you work out. So 10.30, we want our pre-workout meal. Okay, pre-workout meal is at 10.30. If you're going to take a pre-workout supplement, like caffeine or coffee or whatever you're gonna take, then you want that 30 minutes, you know, 10 to 30 minutes before you work out. So right around here, around 11.45 or whatever, you would hit your pre-workout supplement, okay? That'd be your pre-workout supplement. Now you don't need a pre-workout supplement. I like to take pre-workout supplements. Sometimes I forget to take pre-workout supplements. It's, it's really not a big deal. Just go in there and kill your workout regardless. After your workout, within 30 minutes of getting done with your workout, you want protein and you want carbohydrates and you want a decent amount of protein and carbohydrates. So I weigh 200 pounds, I get 50 grams of protein and 100 grams of carbohydrates directly after my workout. And this is why. After you work out, you rip your muscles apart, you break them down. Your muscles are then ready to rebuild bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. Your cells are open and ready to take in nutrients. So give them what they want. Give them proteins, give them carbohydrates to build up bigger, stronger, faster, more explosive. So let's go ahead and write that on the board. We worked out at 12, we'll give us a two hour workout to do a proper dynamic warm up, our workout, and then some static stretching at the end. So. 12 o'clock we worked out, it took us until two. So right after two o'clock, right before three, that's when we want our post-workout shake or post-workout meal, okay? One hour after you're done working out. So we got done working out at two. At three o'clock, one hour after you're done working out, you want a meal with those five categories. So meal right here. Main meal with complex carbohydrates, proteins, fats, healthy fats, vegetables, and fruits. Okay, so that's going to be one hour after you work out. Now, since we've optimized our nutrition before and after our workout, it becomes very easy to just fill in the rest of the blanks. So when you get hungry, you should eat. If you're a little bit hungry, you should have a snack. If you're really hungry, you should have another meal. So, and your snacks and your meals, they should all contain those five categories. Your snacks, they could be missing one or two, doesn't really matter, but let's say three o'clock, we eat, and then 5.30, we get a little bit hungry. So right here, we want a snack, okay? And your snack could be something like Greek yogurt with um, walnuts in it or almonds sprinkled in it and a peanut butter sandwich, okay? Or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That would be a good snack. Then let's say at seven, we get hungry again. We wanna have a meal, okay? That would be something like um, chicken, rice, broccoli, and then um, some almonds, and then we have some raspberries, okay? That would be a good meal. Then let's say we get hungry before bed. It doesn't matter if you eat before bed or not. Some people are like, if I, if I eat right before bed, I will get fat. Completely untrue, completely untrue. What matters is calories in versus calories out. If you burn more calories than you consume, then you will lose weight. If you consume more calories than you burn, then you will gain weight. It really doesn't matter if you eat right before you go to bed or not. I eat before I go to bed every single night. So be careful with these little white lies that people like to tell you. So 
If you want another snack or another meal down here, then have another snack or another meal down there and make sure it hits those five uh, categories in the number one rule to optimize your nutrition as an athlete, okay? So if you want to build muscle and get bigger, then eat a little bit more. If you want to lose weight and burn fat, then eat a little bit less. You can track your macronutrients in something like MyFitnessPal. I do track all my macros, so I know exactly how many proteins, fats, carbohydrates, I'm getting every single day, but if you are a young adult or a young athlete, I don't think that you need to track every single thing that you eat. I think you need to focus on making healthy food choices. Make healthier choices. Instead of the instant oatmeal packets, get rolled oats. Instead of eating Cheetos all day, get some fruits, get some vegetables. So get some good quality, nutrient dense, food choices, and you will be able to optimize your nutrition as an athlete. So there you go. Those are some foods that you can eat, and there's a food schedule that you can use to optimize your performance as an athlete. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell if you haven't already. Comment, jump down below in the comment section for a free body weight vertical jump training program, and take action because action is everything. Knowledge is not power. It is only potential power until you take action on what you know. The way to get results in your life isn't just to think about it. It's to go out and do it and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next video. Young visionary and I don't know where I am. I'm running blindfolded like I ain't got a plan. You either steady living life or you afraid to die. But if you don't